To find the oxidation numbers in FeSO4, we'll use these general rules here. So when we look at the rules, we know that a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, those are going to add up to zero. This is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus here. So the oxidation numbers for each individual element here, they're going to add up to zero. We won't see iron here on our list. It's a transition metal and it can have several different oxidation states. Sulfur also not on our list here. So we need a bit of a strategy to solve this problem here to find the oxidation numbers for FeSO4. The way to do it is to recognize that SO4 is a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfate ion. It has a formula of SO4 and a charge of 2 minus. So when we have ions, the oxidation numbers, they all add up to the charge on the ion. So all of the oxidation numbers here will add up to this 2 minus. So from that, we know that this is a neutral compound. If we're going to have this minus 2 here, we have to have a plus 2 on the iron. Then we can figure out the sulfur within this ion itself. So we could say sulfur, we don't know, that's X plus oxygen. That's minus 2 with a few exceptions. And we have four oxygens. All that should add up to the charge, this 2 minus here. So we have X minus 8 equals minus 2. X is going to have to equal plus 6. So the oxidation number on the sulfur, that's plus 6. And then we knew each oxygen had an oxidation number of minus 2. If you add all of these numbers up, 4 times minus 2 plus 6 plus 2, you will get 0, which will be the oxidation number in neutral compounds. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each of these elements here in FeSO4. It's called iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.